Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Stefania. Thank you so much for finding me here. Hope you all have a beautiful day so far. This is going to be your summer singles energy love reading for 2023 for the overarching sign of Cancer. Beautiful Cancerians. So as I was tuning in on the energy, uh, Spirit was downloading some frame of reference messages for me, for you. First thing I was getting was a vision of someone swimming upstream against the current. And, you know, obviously when you're, when you're trying to swim against the current, it's very difficult, right? And I feel like that's my sign for, you, you know, you've been through some difficult energy when it comes to love. So uh, cancer is a very deep emotional sign and I definitely feel I was getting strong waves, strong energy, but you're, you've been swimming against the current. So things haven't been easy in the emotional body, okay, for some Cancerians out there. Remember, this is not a one-to-one -one reading. This is a general reading for the overarching sign of cancer. So if you have strong placements in cancer, there could be something in here that resonates for you. But I'm definitely picking up on that energy and that's going to resonate for someone out there, okay? So I was also getting, I was hearing, misunderstood misunderstanding so there appears that there's a misunderstanding between two people and it but you often may feel misunderstood actually in the energy of being a cancer cancerian so it feels like perhaps you know in the energy of communication you felt misunderstood or you haven't felt hurt in your love life but I do feel for some of you this is also a misunderstanding between two people because I was getting both variations of that word okay so I'm also picking up up here uh, in the energy a foreign accent so of course I might have a foreign accent for somebody who's you know watching me maybe India right so I have you know Canadian accent <laughs> but I feel like this is I'm hearing somebody with a foreign accent you could be dealing with somebody in summer 2023 with somebody who's from another country okay I wasn't necessarily picking up distance um, although it could be distance because obviously if they're from another country, they're obviously from some place at a distance. But I definitely feel this energy of um, somebody who's different, somebody who speaks differently from you, okay, in the energy for, us, for who's coming towards you for summer 2023, okay? So there's a few things going on here. So first of all, I feel like you haven't had it easy in love. But second of all, you feel must have misunderstood. This could be somebody lurking here in the energy where there was a misunderstanding, potentially okay now as i read the tarot yeah see look there's the high priestess with the ten of wands in reverse so for me this is like you know high priestess is all about connecting to your higher mind connecting to um you know your intuition we've got the ten of uh ten of wands in in reverse so i feel like what's happening here is you're connecting more intuitively to your own higher mind leaving the past leaving the heavy laden burdens of the past behind i also feel i just got that um you could be dealing with the fellow water sign actually also you could be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio i was just picking up heavy water energy even though those cards don't necessarily reflect water i mean i have to say well the high priestess you know i mean scorpio is a very very intuitive sign also oh, all the water signs are actually um you know so i wanted to point out that when i i'm not really a traditional tarot reader in that You'll notice, I mean, I obviously know what the cards mean, but I'm very drawn to the images of the cards, whatever deck I tend to read. I'm very drawn to the artistry. I and mean, then coming from my artist background, I definitely, I get really pulled in with the imagery and the energy. And so sometimes I might say something and if you know tarot, you go, well, you know, that might, maybe that doesn't mean that. Da, da, da. But actually, I, it's just reflecting the energy that I'm picking up on. So you know, just bear with me. You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. It always makes sense. It always makes sense. Okay, look, there's the chariot. And I was just saying, you could be dealing with a fellow water sign. Chariot is cancer, is cancer, right? Um, and six of pentacles, balance. And I'm really drawn to this car with the hands. For me, this is giving healthy balance of giving and receiving in this energy. Okay, so before where you felt like you were, you know, um, just like swimming against the tide and not having success and not flow forward you're feeling this is much more in the flow okay beautiful energy of being in the flow uh and balance balance of give and take i feel like you've spent some time working on yourself 
working on your ideas, working on you. So you're not even necessarily potentially like out there on the dating scene. Like you're not, you know, just appears that you're working on yourself actually right now, which is a beautiful thing. So when we work on ourselves and we nurture our own energy, we elevate our own frequency, and then we magnetically draw into us a more elevated energy. Somebody who, who really sees us, feels us. Look, there's the wheel of fortune turning a cycle new cycle, turning the page of a new cycle of life. And I'm, in this card, I'm really drawn to the three. There's three wheels. It's like one, two, three wheels. So for me, this is like within the three, like three weeks, three months. Okay. Oh, there's a banging that's starting now, the construction. Just have to bear with me. Let's just get through the reading for you guys. Okay. Anything else for our beautiful Cancer summer 2023 live? What else do we need to know about this person coming towards... Our Cancerians watching. Look, there's Celebration Three of Cups. In this energy, I feel this, it could be a, like a friend connection, like a friend of a friend. There could be a connection with a friend, actually, in that card. Okay. And I'm really drawn here to the stars. So one, two, three, four, five. It's a constellation, actually. But for me, this is like people. So it could be like a party, a festival, or some kind of thing. That, but, it, but I definitely feel connection with friendships with that card. Let's see, anything else we need to know for the person coming in for Cancerian Summer 2023? I'll just do one more shuffle, and then we'll see. Oh, no, I just have to bear with the banging. Of course, they start now. There's the Page of Swords. So, yeah, it could be somebody you know. Somebody's already watching. Like, you're, could, you could know this person, but it's not, doesn't have to be. But I also feel when I connect with this card, it's somebody who studies, somebody who's very um, insightful, who's studying, who's, you know, really smart. They could be connected with books, too. All right, messages, love messages for beautiful Cancerians coming in summer 2023. Spirit, what else do they need to hear for our beautiful Cancerians? It's hard that I need to organize them. Summer 2023, what else is coming up for you guys? Let's see, we have let go of control issues. And there's reconciliation. So I did just say, it could be somebody you already know. There's a connection here with potentially a friend group here for some of you. Might not be all of you, but I definitely feel there's some of, some of you who are dealing with that. And, you know, letting go of control issues means surrendering. Not fighting the current. Not forcing it. Letting it flow. Letting it flow. But you got to release your ex, okay? So you could be attached to a past pain, past sorrow. But I actually feel this could be them. This could be the person that you're that you're about to meet. They need to release the ex. This is true love. This is the love of a lifetime coming in. You might be wondering why my cards, if you see, there's like a little tear there. My dog, my little puppy got a hold of these at one point. <laughs> She's a bad girl. Okay. All right. So what would this person coming towards you summer 2023 want to say to you, my beautiful Cancerians? Messages from this person, from the soul. Message from the soul. What would they like to say to you? I bury myself in my work to forget you. I do feel for some of you, this is somebody that's coming in from the past that you may have had a connection with. Okay. I look for you everywhere. I look for you everywhere. I hide behind material things. Oh my goodness. Somebody who's working really hard. Oi. Okay. Other messages coming in for this person. Summer 2023 for you, beautiful Cancerians. Could reverse the energies too. You know, like if you're a cross watcher kind of thing. Um, let's see. But, you, you know, you could be the Cancerian who's saying, I look for you everywhere. For some reason, I have a feeling that there's some, some of you out there who may, re, who, um, who may resonate with that. Okay, so let's just see another message for you for summer 2023. Wishing you guys so much love and like. You know, I should have just said it. I swear, I should have just called it. I was just getting a dog. I was just feeling the energy of dog. I was just connecting it with the dog energy that my dog just shook. It's not because of her. And then right below the dog, the dog car just popped up. Okay. So this is being loyal to what you love. So this person is going to come in and be very loyal to you. Okay. Beautiful, loyal energy, loving, beautiful, loyal energy. I'm going to end it here because the drilling's getting crazy. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Really makes me happy. Really motivates me to keep going completely free for you. Just click the little bell below. And I'm sending you much love and light, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.